this video series is going to be a whole bunch of stuff for you folks to utilize during uh, the coronavirus and also um, during any time that kind of moving forward where we want to have more stuff for our clients to see us online. Not only will it bring us more clients, um, you know, retention wise, it'll also help us attract new clients and prospects, uh, both plan advisors, Hawaii um, plan advisors, you know, nationwide have resources out there to help. So these videos are going to be stuff focusing on carry resources like um, Humana's fast app using the IVR, the telephonic signature. Uh, we're going to go into the different uh, carriers, you know, resources to enroll online and also other things that you can have to enhance your clients and your prospects online experience just so that you can have more, um, more, I guess you could say presence online. And I'm not sure if all of you have done a website yet, but let's go ahead and learn about that, learn about videos and, you know, learn about anything we can do to help promote our business during this time. And of course, moving forward past 2020. So with that said, let's go into our series. Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about Enrollment Hub on the Humana site. So if you have not used Enrollment Hub, this is a perfect uh, kind of training for you. So I'm going to just go quickly into the Humana agent portal, or they call it Vantage. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Enrollment Hub. So enter Enrollment Hub. It's in the middle as you get in. It's right here. In Medicare, quote and enroll, enter Enrollment Hub. So with Enrollment Hub, you'll be able to get um, to view all the scope of appointments that you put inside and also to view all the applications that you submitted through Enrollment Hub. So it's very useful. I'm going to just go ahead and get myself out of here. There we go. All right, so this is the Enrollment Hub application. Here it will say that you're online or offline. You can use this both on and offline. This first portion is appointments. This is where you can set up your scope of appointments. So if you have a touchpad and or a touch screen, sorry, you can actually create a scope of appointment. So when you're meeting somebody at their home and you have, weren't able to get the scope beforehand, or someone comes up to your kiosk and they need help and they want it to enroll, you can utilize this if they're going to choose a Humana plan. Now let's get back to the workbench. That's this main screen here. Now after they did a scope of, of appointment, you go to enrollment applications and you start an enrollment. So with this, you need to choose, of course, where they are and that you're going to do a Medicare and you did a presentation. IDV is dental vision. We don't got any of that in Hawaii, so don't worry. I'm just going to put in uh, made up information here. Okay, and let's go with a date of birth. Um, as long as they're 65, and we can put that they have hospital 15, 31-2019, and you would say which plan uh, did they want to enroll in. So let's go ahead and choose Humana Gold Plus, Chemo, and put enroll. Now here's the part where you have to do the disclosures. Make sure you click yes to all of these as long as you have explained those to your client. Of course, here is for a client that you're going to enroll by themselves, and this is if they have a power of attorney, some kind of medical person that's acting on their behalf, and you'd put in the person's name, gender, this is all pre-populated from the first screen, what enrollment period they are in. So for AEP, it'll be this one here. If they're new to Medicare, one of these two. If they have OEP, it's here. And if they're OEP new, OEPI, 
and then if they have a special election period, like if they're a low-income subsidy or Medicaid. And this is an end-stage renal disease. You have to answer no here. I'm just going to put it in here to kind of show you guys that the SAP reason for Medicaid is here. MDE. For those who are new to Medicaid, it'll be this one. For those who have um, moving, you're down here. And there's all these other ones here. For the lost employer coverage, also the most current, most commonly used one, here it is. Most of these other ones we don't have uh, in Hawaii, and usually uh, we won't have any declaration of uh, disaster. So that's this one, but we probably won't have any of those. But if you do have questions about that, please um, refer back to the Humana uh, guidebook, the enrollment book. They have a pretty good um, reasons for uh, or explanations. So here you choose the expected date. So for someone enrolling in the end of September, their last chance to make an LIS move will be into October 1st effective date. For everyone in the AEP training or AEP uh, enrollment, you'd be choosing 1-1-2020. So you'd have to put their address. So I'm just going to make up an address here. You have to put the phone number, and then you'd have to put what type it is. Now, applicant email, so it cannot be your own email, so it has to be a an email that um, your client has. Of course, you cannot be the receiving end for that. They can provide a emergency contact. English, right now they only have these three as default, English, Spanish, and Chinese, and you can pick other, and if you do, they will ask you all of these other languages. And if you put other again, um, they will call and find out which uh, language they have. So you can put if they are <coughs> speaking Tagalog, or if they have, if they're speaking German, Italian, Korean, all those are over here. So English, and if they need an alternative format of uh, communication, this is where you'd put it. So if they're blind, they would need Braille. If they are hard at hearing, they need an audio where there would be more, uh, I guess the, the service would be a lot louder. This is where it's digital, where you can have all the communications come to your, you digitally. So for those who have access to email and want to use email and want to limit the amount of mail they have, click yes. If not, you would click no for those people that want to receive all the mail. Now this is how Humana will try and communicate, phone, email, or post. Now you have to find the doctor because this is in HMO. So you'd have to go to here, Humana Plan Finder, and you would have to type in all the wonderful information to look for a plan. Make sure you select the right network. So it's a Gold Plus HMO. And then you can search by sorry, specialty. You can type in primary, family medicine, general practice, and I think internal medicine will pop up. So one of these, find out who is ex accepting or to find a doctor. If you do know the doctor's name, just type in the doctor's name on that part. But if they don't have a doctor, then go ahead and look here. And just to show you guys, let me see if they have, oh, they don't. Let me, sorry, there's 14 pages of these. I want to try and find a family care provider that has more than one IPA. Here we go. Of course, this doctor has multiple IPAs, so MDX or Hawaii Senior Medical Group. So when you do select him, you're going to have to make sure you put in the right IP number. And currently right now, I believe the IPA number, or the, sorry, the PCP number is not available because you cannot enroll them into that particular plan. Um, <clears throat> meaning you cannot enroll the, them into the HSMG IPA here, this primary care number is going to be just for MDX currently. Um, they will change it over, uh, probably from October 1st, they will actually have the different IPA number if you want to designate Dr. 
Alcuero and have him be on the HSMG um, IPA versus the MDX IPA version of the Humana plan. So you have to click, click here, put the PCP number in here, click and control copy the name, put them in there, and hopefully you are an established patient. If not, you have to put no. Oops, doesn't like the comma there. Yes, and you can put if they're going to work, yes or no. If they have other medical coverage, yes or no. This is where you would, if you add yes, you would put in the carry names, like if they have the federal plan or if they have some other type of uh, medical insurance. If their spouse works, they have a one, they want to have a secondary insurance. This is where you'd put that in. If not, most people are going to be no. If they have Tricare, Federal Employment for pharmaceutical assistance, like if they have. Um, the LIS and they have another card, then you put that here. Uh, this is like if they have an extra uh, prescription drug plan via um, <clears throat> their LIS, that card that comes in, you can put that here. And then it, what will probably happen is it'll knock them off, but it would also give Humana um, better access to finding out you know, where they are on their deductible and things like that for those who are on the low income subsidy, not the slim B, but higher. And if you have Medicaid, yes or no. And if they want a dental, these are the two dental um, riders you can get. Most times it's going to be no. For them to pay, you just can say pay directly, or any of these will work because it's zero premium. Your agent name and uh, SAN number automatically populate. Now here's the interesting. You can actually select here and plan advisors is actually here. Oh no, we're right above premium benefit consultants. But here, plan advisors, what you, or plan advisors, and this is our our national company. So you can put here. Now this vet veteran status, you have to put for now. I am not a veteran. You do not have to put uh, how this lead came in, unless you want to. Uh, the SOA, so the scope of appointment. If you did a paper app. You click it here. If it was in Roman Hub, you click here, and then the SOA ID would have been found in the other one. For all of these, you do need to put in a uh, number here for the uh, plan to actually keep going. And then this is an interesting button. It says why, how you, why it this plan sold. So, oh, it happened face to face. Well, this is different. <clears throat> Normally, under this primary reason sold, it would say reason like likes benefits, likes zero premium, or likes affordable premium. But something happened here. It's not showing what it usually shows. But I'll just put sold MAPD. Oh, there we go. Good network, good service, SNP, rates competitive, silver sneakers, strong benefit package slash RX of prescription drug coverage. So you can put good service. Brand recognition, Humana repetition. And then here, it won't let me do it because there's some information that um, I haven't finished. So it will tell me here, communication. Here we go. Phone, email, UPS. Let's go with email to make things easier. See right here on the left-hand side, you can see what is missing. So let's see what's missing on the sales data side. Oh, they're missing the SOA ID. Let's just make something up. There we go. Took it, all green. Now you can either have them sign. So electronic signature, if you forget, electronic signature means that they will be sent an email and when, they, when the client receives the email at the email you put above, they can go and click the link in the email and finish the enrollment process there. Now, if you have a touchscreen device, I would suggest that you instead do digital signature. Now, digital signature allows the client to go ahead and sign it right here, and you would get, uh, of course, credit for the application. 
and when you capture signature and it'll be done after this screen I'm not going to push any further because I wouldn't be enrolling this uh, fake person um, but if you go further they'll ask you all kinds of questions like um, would you want do you want to release information to Humana Pharmacy do you want to release information to Humana to send you marketing do you want to really sign a PHI for other people to um, be able to request information from Humana I would suggest uh, for timeliness unless the person requests that you have them um, send or have someone else be able to access the personal health information um, that you just decline all of that if the member doesn't have Humana Pharmacy I would suggest having that information sent to Humana Pharmacy so that they can sign up for the um, 90 day mail order if they have maintenance medications. If they don't have maintenance medications, of course, um, you don't need uh, to do that. Okay, so let's just go back to the workbench. There it is. And because uh, it's on this platform, let's say you have someone who you sign up, almost sign up. Uh, and then they, they don't have something. Let's say they forgot a card, they forgot um, their doctor, they want to check something. You are able to actually go back in, edit, and pick up where you left off. Very handy. And also, one really good thing about using this is that if you have clients who have already signed up via this enrollment hub, you can actually go here and say, Reuse Data. So you'd be able to create a copy of this application for this client, and most of the information we already pre-filled. All right. Hope you folks enjoyed that video. For more videos like that on how to use digital or online tools, check the playlist up here. For more information on how you can take your practice further, faster using online tools, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us on hawaiiagentonline.com so that you can go ahead and let us know how we can best serve you. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.